So I'm gonna give you a complete review of the Continental Gator Skin Tires. So the primary reason why you would buy the Gator Skin Tires is simply because of puncture resistance. That's the reason why you wanna do this. The Gator Skin Tires are not for rolling resistance. They're not that good for rolling resistance. What you're gonna find is putting these tires on is kind of like putting a garden hose on your bicycle. When you buy these tires, I recommend buying the, the uh, folding tire. And the reason why is because they're a little bit lighter than their other tire, the Gator Skins, which are the wired ones where when you buy them from the bike shop, or any place they actually come round. They are not in a box. The reason why is because these actually, even though they're a heavy tire compared to normal tires, um, they weigh about 230 grams. The wired ones, the same brand, same uh, gator skin, but the, they're a little bit heavier. I think they're about 280. But as far as puncture resistance, I haven't noticed a difference. Now another great tire is the Continental Grand Prix 4000, or now they have the 5000 and those actually roll much better and the problem is the puncture resistance is not as good in my humble opinion if you want to buy a tire and you do not want to have flats hardly at all these are the bomb these are the bomb so i ride with a group and almost on a weekly basis especially during the winter someone will get a flat and we're always stopping to have them change a flat i get about one flat for every about 5,000 miles. Now that's pretty incredible. And in addition to that, from a safety perspective, when I get a flat, because these tires are so thick, what ends up happening is you start noticing that you can feel it getting softer. The tire does not explode off the rim. The tire does not, uh, uh, boom, becomes instantly flat and you're, you're wobbling around. Because the tire is so thick, it actually feels as though it's just a solid piece of rubber. Now, just as a fair warning too, once you get these on the rim, they're staying on. They're very difficult to get on the rims, so very often you need strong chiropractic hands or a tire lever. So the disadvantages of these tires are they are significantly heavy compared to other tires. However, they're light compared to the armadillos. The puncture resistance is superior. The rolling resistance sucks. The weight sucks. But if you're choosing a tire based on you just want to ride and not be stopping every week to, for a flat tire, these are your go-to tires. So wouldn't you know it, the day I do this video, I'm riding on Santa Rosa and I was watching where I was going, but all of a sudden it was one of those things that too quick. All of a sudden I ran through some glass and you could tell there's glass uh, literally attached to the tire. And so I put my palm down with my glove to kind of get the glass out, glass comes out. I'm riding, I'm thinking, oh great, wouldn't that be just so funny if uh, I got a flat today. And so far it's been 16 miles, tire feels fine. So this is the reason why I ride these tires. Now in the past, especially during winter, I have actually used specialized armadillo tires. And if there's anything that is ever bomb proof, it's those. They have uh, three different ones. There's a Roubaix Elite, there's an Elite, and there's also just the all condition armadillos. And those are the ones I'm talking about. If you're gonna go riding in a place where there's a significant amount of glass, there's goat heads, and there's the flint stones, um, you know you're gonna get a flat. In that case, I would run the armadillos, and the reason why is because those are, if there's anything that's really gonna almost guarantee no flats, it's those. Now the problem with those are, those tires are 395 grams per tire, compared to the Gator Skins, which are 230. When you put those tires on, you notice a significant difference in weight. I have personally noticed that the Gator Skins are 95% as good in terms of puncture resistance as the Armadillos, but with a significant weight savings, and they do run a, a little bit better. With the Armadillos, you almost literally feel 
like you're glued to the tarmac. And that's why I'm using the gator skins for most of my riding. 